I just got ready for work and today I'm taking you to work with me. We're going, get ready, put your shoes on. It's almost 10, I am running late, but I have to walk. And I am just a 10 minute away from work, so I can be there by 10 for sure. So if you're new to my channel, I work at Harvard. I'm a scientist there, I'm a postdoc, which means I have a PhD and I'm doing research after my PhD. This content is very timely because this is probably my last year of being a postdoc at Harvard. So this is probably my last year of doing research at Harvard, period. So if you're watching this content, this content is definitely limited. It's gonna end this year. Definitely gonna end in 2025. So get it while it's hot. Get it while I'm still making this content. My main motivation of working at Harvard was basically because I thought of Harvard as New York. Like you know how people think of New York as like if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. That's how I've always thought about Harvard as far as science is concerned. I was like as a scientist, if I can make it here and do good, I can do great science anywhere. Like that was the pinnacle of science for me. Is it true? I don't know. I think just as if you actually move to New York, you realize there are pros and cons. There are pros and cons with everything. So does Harvard have its pros and cons? Like most definitely it does, it has, it always will. It's not all glitters and rainbows and like the pinnacle of science as it seems. It's good, but it's not like the best. Anywho, this was just a background for people who are new and just to give you a more well-rounded perspective if you've been a subscriber to the channel. Anyways, maybe we'll stop for coffee on the way before I take you inside Harvard. I go to the faculty lounge to get coffee. I don't care. Ooh, balancing act. This is what a research lab at Harvard looks like. If this isn't science, two things work and one thing is like completely... Oh shit, I shouldn't do that, but shit, that, that is shit. Okay, I've literally been trying to work something out for the past three weeks. And it seemed like it finally worked. That's how science works a lot of times. It's like you are working on something for the longest time and then you keep on making changes and it starts working. So I'm really excited. I'm actually cloning. I'm not making anything crazy. I'm just cloning something in a plasmid so I can transfix something, but you get the picture. Shit finally worked. Okay, I'm gonna update my notebook. and check my email really quick. So I'm setting up <clears throat> basically a way to screen my colonies, which basically means that these bacteria on the plates that are growing here, I'm gonna lyse them and I'm gonna do a reaction to genotype them to see if they're positive or negative clones. That's what I'm setting up. So, just gonna light these bad boys real quick. So I just got done doing some of the work, but I wanna show you how I stay organized here uh, while working. So this is my favorite notebook. It's from Moji. Um, I really like it because it's literally blank. I don't know if you can see it in this light, but it's literally blank, but it has like these checkers and it's completely blank so I can basically write what month it is for example I can make like a September thing and then I can write whatever I'm doing in September so I really like this for staying organized helping me write down what I'm doing every day someone's calling me whatever helping me write down what I'm doing each day and this is literally my favorite pen right now it looks really cute but i got it from a bookshop and i thought nothing of it but it's literally the smoothest pen i've written with it's like a 0.5 millimeter tip 
I love these things because they make me stay organized in my day-to-day -day work. Super important when you're multitask. Super important when you're multitasking. Just so you know, if you need any organization tips, go to Muji and get this cute Japanese pen. Here, do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hello. Do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Micah. <laughs> and? <laughs> That's it. That's all you guys get. I'm awkward. So everyone's awkward. Huh? Why? Stop. I know what I want. Oh, I got the last. The last diet coke. That she didn't want you then? Well, kind of. Why? Is this going in the vlog? This might go in the vlog. Oh. And Nora, I'm gonna bleep her out, but she watches my vlog. Vlog. I'm just kidding. Back to more bench work. I am super hungry now. Oh my god. Can you guys? I'm vlogging with hair like this. That's how much I love you. But I am so hungry. It's definitely lunchtime. In Casa de Harvard. I did get a Diet Coke earlier because had to. It just gives me like a good midday caffeine kick. And it's just like drinking something fizzy. But let's eat. I do get like things from the cafeteria, but 99% of the time I'm eating what I made. So I just ate lunch and I'm done with a lot of things today but I need to run my gel and then see if the cloning actually worked which I'm gonna do now time wise 233 I don't know if you can see so day is going pretty smoothly this is a standard work day in my life where nothing crazy is happening since the semester just started I don't have really a lot of meetings or anything so a lot of time is just spent doing stuff in the lab time to load these bad boys anyways I'm gonna finish loading this So it is about 4 p.m., a little after 4, and I'm done. I checked off everything on my list. That means I get to leave at 4. I'm gonna go to the gym, and then that means I get to go home to the bunnies earlier. But let me show you the quad while I leave. It's so beautiful out. I'm sure the quad looks beautiful right now. By the quad, I mean the Harvard Medical School quadrangle. Um, basically, all the research buildings form a quad, and a lot of people just chill there when it's nice out so let me take you there as I finish the day at Harvard see that is basically the quad so I've shown this in like my videos earlier like a lot of my videos that I've made I've shown this before but that's like the main central garden and then all of these the four sides are the research buildings but also what's super cool is that over here this one is like the one that you see if you google like harvard medical school and stuff 
it's this building the golden sin building the golden gordon hall or sorry that comes up i hope you guys had fun today at work with me i just wanted to show you a work day with me i know i have in the past but i know you guys love watching these videos so i love making them like obviously i'm just gonna make stuff that you guys want to see and you guys like and this these are the kind of videos you like but i hope you guys had fun watching this day with me the semester had started so i feel like this was a good time to make a video and give you guys an idea of like what a work day at harvard looks like seems pretty normal i think whenever people think harvard they think that there must be exceptional workloads and i think that goes up and down i think with any work you either have like crazy days or you have normal days and this was a normal day not essentially crazy day but hopefully i'll get to share one of hopefully once in a while i'll show you one of the crazy days but this was it for today and i'll see you guys in the next video if you like this video obviously share this video subscribe to the channel and just like this video i'll see you guys later